good afternoon everyone today we are demonstrating live surgery for a 1.5 cm stone i wanted to show the ct before i introduce if you see the reconstructed picture this is the stone approximately 15 mm there may be small infundibulum here but uh, we will go and see inside this is pre stented already so that ureter will be accommodable so now coming to the armamentarium instead of wasting the time uh we are already well versed all of us with rirs rirs is retrograde intraoral surgery for the stone inside the kidney so what we are doing is we are passing normally a small access sheet where is that small access sheet show me so we usually keep two two tables like this so these two tables is because you keep minimum here and some extra there so that if it is not used sterilization you need not uh, uh, change that is the main purpose otherwise one instrument sterilization costs a lot So normal we use twenty eight centimeter access sheet Cook Company, which costs around seven thousand rupees, and this is five six thousand rupees, and this is twenty eight centimeter. I I always prefer to use in the lower end, lower end. Whereas now we are talking about see how long the sheet. This is almost double the size. If you see here, it's half. so is it logical some people have used this and said it is logical this size is 10 french this size is 9.5 french unless you keep it by the side you will not be able to feel the difference the tip is same for both the material is same but this company is different we are not concerned about the company now because only one company is putting up we are interested what will happen if this goes into the kidney can it go into the lower ureter can it go into the powder sucking what is the suction apparatus we are using what is the this is a normal suction what we are using there is a marking here 100 200 like this we use 100 every every suction machine has that now coming to the steps of this span sheet that the main fear is what some seniors are expressing is if this goes beyond the puj what happens to puj we will assess uh, as of now we are doing only with uh, uh post entered preferably but there is no rule if you go with ureteroscope very nice ureter is there why not but the only problem concern is in puj when it is there how this will handle there is a operator like this here this is highly flexible see whereas if you take it out if you see here this is not flexible whereas this is flexible this is not flexible this is not flexible see it's rigid there are multiple rings here those rings are weakened here you can see transparently inside also small rings so it is highly flexible when you pass the sheet the flexible scope through this there is a connector here which will prevent the suction leaking this connector and it will go inside like this and when you go see most important point i want to observe is that see when it comes out this much length is only there this length is 45 50 cm 50 so only 55 cm this sir if you take more than that it will come nearer and you cannot do movement see this much is inside this much is inside see now it is moving last 15 cm should be outside if you want to bend with this this one see you can bend like this see this much is the bend you are able to observe with my flexible scope i am able to bend this much that is the beauty so when this sheet is inside the pelvis you will not damage this because you will not move this so that fear should not be there under cm whether it is going freely or not we have to see that we will see now now coming to the uh, irrigation you can irrigate with uh, 50 ml syringe you can irrigate with uh, a tr set with uh, 
saline bottle you can irrigate with pump also no problem because when outflow is there but pump we are not using now coming to the flexible scope there is nothing new in this it is a disposable scope we are all using disposable scopes only this is from huge med biorad whatever the flexible scope you are comfortable you can use because this sheath is big 10 by 12 this scope not going into this will not be there that means what type of suction is here is the suction tubing is there this is a suction tubing we put this suction here where is this suction there is a hole here 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 can you focus that hole here here are you seeing if i press this it will suck it if i don't press normal water will come out into this clean and give this suction goes into this this as a trap of the stones so that you can put this say, here and this will go simply to the mission there is nothing here then directly this can go to mission but because stones have it trapped the suction will come here and the water will come into this so what happens is if you leave it entire this lumen this lumen is big that lumen water will be sucked along with the powder when you insert a, a, a scope up, which is only 7.5 or 7.3 as a matter of fact you see here lot of gap will be there you see here lot of gap will be there gap here that gap will take all the powder so if you want to do you do powder only but little bigger powder also will come and at the end small fragments you keep that by removing this scope up to this end like this here bifurcation is there here the fragments will go here and you come here and again insert so what is the problem inserting this uh, you have to hold somebody like this and inserting this into a sheath for uh, 50 cm is the time so this time should be fast so that you come back and all the fragments when they are coming out like in pcl they won't come out easily you have to exert some pressure and you have to come slowly and put it down that we will see now the first step is 6 by 7.5 ureteroscopy is there already sister not to waste time we will assess the ureter this uh, patient i have already told left side stone now you have to show that carefully this carefully or uh, who is better person kartik you take over you take over and uh, don't show the faces of the uh, patient don't show the uh, uh, the uh, staff uh, this thing and only concentrate on the endoscope and you have to lights off and then show properly that with a zoom so that they can see now i am going here the question can be asked uh, naresh if any questions are there they can ask now now you see when i am doing ureter urethroscopy with ureter we will go inside and uh, can anybody take my phone and say that i am in the surgery now i will go inside after the stent removal now there is one uh, now i will go inside left na now this is the ureter press after the stent this is the disadvantage of the stent removal i am going into the ureter it is nicely dilated because of this stent i am going inside it is nicely dilated whenever you put stent certain amount of uh, uh, trauma will be there uh, when you do rirs we see that small clots will be there and you can see the ureter nicely there ureter nicely there ureter nicely there this is the stent and now we will almost see i am inside calyx inside calyx i am seeing the stone so what i will do is i will pass the uh, guide wire which is thicker always pass the guide wire which is thicker so you pass the guide wire now you come back and now you have to use cm in this please use the cm where it is see it is coiled inside don't remove this at any cost so that is there now what i will do is don't show the backs of the surgeons that doesn't look nice now this is a sheath which i am passing wetting with this this is a long sheath one should be careful come down come down 
the very thick guide wire 0 0.038. Now I am going inside. Basic principle is same. Stretch the pennies. Patient is under general anesthesia. See I'm there. See I'm. Now it will come there. See I'm. See I'm. Yeah, see it is coming there. You are passing gently. You are passing gently. It is going freely. Go up. See I'm. See you are passing gently. It's going up. See I'm. You are passing gently. You are going up. See I'm. You are passing gently. You are going up. Now, I am passing, even in post enter, this is going with a little difficulty, CM. So, I will, I will withdraw, CM. And CM below, CM, CM. Come below, it is quite in length, maybe falling come below come below if in post enter also it doesn't go we uh, so she's keep it there see him see him see him see him it is not going freely in that case what we will do we will go see him we will stop here so we will stop here. We will take out the uh, access sheet there. Now you show the position, how it can be threaded. See ya. So that is there in the show with finger. Where is there? So we are uh, very good. Now you take it out. Even post tempted. So ultimately, the disadvantage of this procedure is if it doesn't go into the pelvis, you cannot do the surgery. But you can do RRS. The only thing is. We can under vision, yeah. You have to take it out. Oh, you can you can put inside this. See, is intelligent. He is telling. Now oh, camera white balancing is done. Now we have to exchange the camera. So there, how is exchanging? And now white balancing to be done. Oh. Then you do it if it all required. Benefit of doubt, do it. White balancing, yes. Now you go. So the one lesson we have learnt is this uh, post entered also it may not go easily but we will have some edge. I am passing this guide wire. Why I am passing this guide wire? I wanted to start the water also. Water goes through the flexible scope. Now I am passing CM. Over this I will pass. CM. 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 CM, 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 CM. So this is the problem. Now you can go up to pelvic uretic junction only. So you have to slightly uh, negotiate this into the, over the, this thing, CM, over this flexible scope, CM, CM. Okay, now take out this, put the water. First we will see the ureter and then decide. If it is not going, then we have to use the access sheet with small. Now see, the, this is the ureter. You can see, leave it and come back, flush, flush, yeah. Now you, you, you stay here, hold it, hold it, come back. Hold tightly. So you come back and see where is the access sheet. If it is seen, okay. If it is not, see it is it is stuck in here. So this is the problem with the hold it. Now if you if you cannot pass it, we cannot show the RIRS because the sheet will not go here. This is what exactly the problem is now. So now what I try is I will attempt a with the uh, flexible scope only. So now I uh, come below CM. Come below. Come below. Yeah, I'm trying. 
and trying over the scope, uh, threading over the scope. Keep it there inside. If it, this is the intricacies of this procedure. Water flush for somebody, thumbsna scrub. It is not going. So no dilatation techniques will stay, keep straight, keep straight. Go, let the scope be inside, keep straight. Keep straight, I am telling you, see that. So for the scope only, we have to go. Yeah. So it is not going freely. So I, I, I will wait for uh, two minutes. I will assess the ureter and uh, you be inside only. I will assess and see. So ureter is, ureter is normal. Straight through that. So uh, you do the merge maneuver. Hold it. See on below. See on below. See on below. Yeah. So I am in the bladder. So I will take out and do urotroscopy and then again do it. Give me the urotroscope. The other option for me, because it is live demonstration, we can have this type of problem. Because it's post entered, I was confident that I will. I will be able to pass. So in post entered also, sometimes this access sheets may not go. So I will do the retroscopy and then decide what to do. If uh, uh, if uh, mm, uh, the large access sheet you have, 9.5 large access sheet, that will pass. We will see that. So we can, in that case, we can will not be able to demonstrate, only show the external genitalia. I will show, okay. So this is a ureter, not at all any damage. Only thing is that it is slightly pretty. So I will keep for two minutes. Ureter is very, very accommodable. There is no problem. So I will keep, uh, I can keep uh, uh, for some time like this straight and give me the head back. Take one more access sheet news. So I will take access sheet again. I will try once again. But I have not done any damage to the ureter. These are the things we have to learn. So any new procedure will have intricacies. The ultimate idea is don't damage the ureter. See, after experience also, I thought because it is stented, I can pass. I am not able to pass. So I will see again. This penis is slightly smaller, uh, bigger, uh, so we have to look into that aspect. Now, can we do the sheet again? Yeah, we will take a new sheet because these are not reusable. You can see the stone there. You can see the stone there. You can see the uh, the bed bed also. Yeah. Ah, this is not a time to discuss about the car. We are demonstrating on the procedure. The access sheet will cost only 5,000 rupees. So, uh, 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 the uh, sorry, access sheet will cost 15,000. 15, that is the extra cost. There is nothing extra cost. That also if you are using only one time. So, I am trying uh, uh, one more time. If that doesn't go, see you know. See on below, water you have to put continuously. See on, see on, see on, see on. Go about, go about. See on, see on, see on, see on. It is not going. See on, see on, see on. Merge is not related to merge. It is at the gripping at the lower ureter. See him. Don't remove the guide wire. Push the guide wire. See that. Okay. See him. See him. 
Sion, 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 so now I am better off, isn't it? See, now I am removing the guide wire, I will go with the flexible scope, all, all, almost completely I have gone into the, just below the PVJ, but if you don't cross, means a tall person, his penis is also, uh, wait, water please. Hold it, see that? Always you have to hold straight. So we will go inside like this. Inside we will go inside the kidney. Now you flush the water after some time we will see. The only thing is that we may not be able to uh, get the sheath into the, see this is the upper calyx stone, infundibular stone. Let us see how we can see that come up. Come up. See, can you see there where I am? Yes. If the sheet, uh, where is the sheet? We have to see now. So I am coming back. This is the sheet. If I travel this much extra distance only, I can do scan. So I will try. Hold it. Uh, he is a tall man. Even 50 centimeters is becoming. See him. See him. See him. See him. See, him, see at this level, see him. And there here, hold it. See. So you should be careful here in PUJ region. So just I'm just I'm falling short. So I I can uh, I can uh, push inside unfinished. That means uh, uh, 50 centimeters uh, teeth. Can it go? So the the now I am using the lasing. You observe this has happened even in recent conference also uh, in our conference that if you use if it is falling short you cannot do anything. So I am I am at least feeling that see it is done. Okay. Now I without wasting time you will I will apply suction and do the vision. Now real surgery starts. One ten tulium fiber laser. See we are sucking and at the same time. We are manipulating. See, this is the picture. See on picture, please. See on picture. Now, so in this case, I got trouble, but I came out with experience. Uh, respiration stop, please. Reduce. Now, sheath is where it is inside. So, see, intermittently, we will suck it out. Intermittently, you will not see that suction effect is happening. My assistant, Sridhar, this is upper pole infundibulum tube is not easy case for the not easy case for the PCNL respiration control upper pole. Okay, if you do spinal, it is difficult. So my anesthetist will control respiration, and I am making powder. See this powder, whatever there, it is sucked. See almost I am in the powder. No powder will be seen. This is the picture. Can you see him? See him? like that? If we can inject and contrast, see also. Give me some contrast so that I will inject and throw what type of anatomy. Suck it first, empty it, and then inject contrast. Don't suck now. CM, CM continuously. Can you see the CM? And now I will stop it. If normal case, this contrast cannot be sucked. But whereas in this case, contrast can be sucked out. Now suck it out. Yes. Yes. So there is no problem. So now respiration control, please. Second time I am telling. So now I am doing powder. You will not see the powder also in the kidney. This is 1.5 centimeters. Keep on doing it. Don't voluntarily make powder uh, a precess. As much as possible, like in normal RIRS, you do it. But at the end, uh, beauty is all the fragment can be sucked out. But for that, uh, access sheet today, because his tall patient is falling short. That's why tip of the penis you see here. What he is doing, he is pushing the penis like this and making the access sheet go inside. He is reducing the penile length. This is the only place where tip of the penis, even penile length matters. You got the point? Up to the up to the tip of the stone, up to the tip of the calyx, up to the tip of the inferior calyx, everything matters. See, don't suck now for five seconds. Don't suck. How the powder will accumulate, I will show. Don't suck. Now, this is the powder. See, it's not even seen. Automatically, it's coming out. Now, you suck 
how how the how it beautiful it will be see stone vision will be better see see how it is sucking see see if you don't do water in flow suck it without water in flow without what see completely it sucks out so every bacteria every now do it see it's just here he is keeping here but the only problem is movements will be little tuck the tuck the air bubble also you can tuck the air bubble also bas don't suck more if you keep on sucking more you cannot proceed with the surgery well you cannot proceed with the surgery well so i had a problem in passing the access sheet post entered that's why i slowly see these pieces are coming small pieces those small pieces will take away the performance so it's impacted stone slowly you do it and you finish the surgery now see here see here see these are the fragments see see this fragment see how it is coming out see how it is coming out now it takes only 10 seconds time how can you say that these fragments uh, are not uh, sucked out they have to be sucked out so there is no doubt that there is no only thing that you have to be slow like this like this 45 cm you have to come out they will come out uh, from the exit unless he, fl he flushes the water will not develop the pressure that's why suction should be see now i came out so you immediately go and immediately see how much time it took 10 seconds 10 seconds you are there but during that time nobody should move the access sheet badly now don't suck let the system distend and let me do it with system distended now i don't mind increasing the pressure to 1.5 that means only 1.5 and 10 is 15 only pulver tracers are says up to 20 you can use it this is hard stone i want to pulverize see these pieces invariably will form you cannot say that these pieces need not be taken out and they won't come out from the access sheet they will come out now i am making purposefully fragmentation uh, the purposefully deep trow so that this stone impaction i want to reduce otherwise i will take lot of time for example if i break here the stone like pneumatic it will go into calyx it's a dilated calyx sir so i will be going like see these are all fragments see this is a fragment this big fragment will not come out let you uh, trap it and uh, pulverize there only see continuously is flushing water that is a disadvantage you can use the uh, irrigation normal gravity irrigation now make make it 1.1.5 1. or this also okay should i increase ramkrishna or it's okay 15 one is better see how it is sucking out why not why not to suck this see he is sucking out he is flushing and these fragments are coming out what is the problem only problem is passing the access sheet into the passing the access sheet into the ureter and kidney if it is not possible don't do it why can you do it nobody can do it so at the end i will show entire ureter 1.5 yeah it is 1.5 now ulium fiber laser 10 watts and fragmentation mode this is not a dusty mode this is a fragmentation mode see completely we can show today the entire kidney his exchange is very fast ramkrishna is very senior and his exchange is very very fast if you don't exchange well and if you start sucking bleeding will come Now till now we have not seen bleeding. See how big stone it is, and this stone for PCNL is a stone guided puncture, upper pole, no problem. But dilatation will be difficult. See how I am keeping the mouth of it. Uh, the access sheet is just mouth of it. Why not this all all powder is coming out? I hope everybody is observing. Any questions? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes ask the. Why are you not asking? I lost my scope today while using this sheet. Uh -huh. How to avoid it? I flex the scope when tip falls outside the sheet. how to avoid it sir no you should never flex that's a very good question you need certain experience first with the normal ones otherwise here the uh, the flexible scope uh, uh, is will flex the uh, the sheath so you should not uh, be over enthusiastic after doing 17 years i am doing don't consider this procedure you go on tomorrow it is only advances we have to learn first to do normally without a sheath i mean without a intra renal sheath you do it 50 cases after doing 
you are attempting in post even now i am attempting in post tempted only if you don't stand tomorrow small sheet may come more flexible sheet may come in that case you can do well see i struggled 5 uh, minutes uh, for passing the access sheet because it is tight uh, even after the stent we use usually 3.5 maybe we have to use even the people say it is same see exactly i am in the access sheet mouth is there like this any question yes sir <clears throat> this stone can be done done with urssl and laser no sir no 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 that is totally wrong with rirs only i am bending so much you are not understanding those people who are doing urssl for in the kidney stones they are totally missing by not learning the rirs that is not correct you can never give 100% sfr because you cannot bend so much i am bending inside you have to understand sometimes uh, the calyx may not be seen with rigid rotoscope just because in this case you are uh, seeing you should not i uh, you should not tell that once i am inside don't suck it see suction is very powerful so you should be careful when you are activating first question is very important question scope can get damaged if you flex flex too much the too much the tip of the flexible scope you should have experience if it is lower calicial stone i say it is very difficult you should have your entire experience to flex that so that the flexible scope the access sheath and the laser fiber all the three will be flexing inside the uh, inside the now see see how the powder is sucked out spontaneously how the kidney stone is also dropping down are you observing yes yeah so now keep on doing it and last uh, we will not have a single fragment inside see these fragments are telling that we want to go out. we want to go out. you let them go out. what if you don't let them go out they will accumulate by the side of the by the side of the karthik sheet she so sheet may get damaged the sheet may damage the the outer sheet of the flexible scope okay, sir. not inner sheet sheet may damage outer sheet the the flexible scope may crush between the stone and sheet stone stone and the sheet see it is coming out see you can activate once or twice like this not too much so he pushed inside smartly push inside and working inside the kidney is highly beneficial one more question sir yes the page of assess sheet while doing procedure out of a good assistant see so how he is holding he should never slip that is disaster so, okay in this case if it slips okay it comes in ureter but when you are you are see now see see i will put like this and suck it out slowly i will come out how much time it is taking nothing it is zero time 10 seconds i will be there inside like this what happens in 10 seconds if you can see the stone and clear now don't suck when you are in the calyx you should not suck you should this thing see now everybody appreciate the uh, the suction of the fragments powdering normal rr as this is only thing is large volume 1.5 into 1.5 into 1.5 see slowly i am seeing the uh, upper okay, calyx uh, up, lumen 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 upper calyx lumen if you see it is easy why interface of the water and the stone will be there then surgery becomes easy here every minute is sucking so you will never see any intrarenal pressure you will never see any raise in temperature every 30 seconds he is putting where is the powder you are not able to see the powder which you see in rrs so kidney will be clean even today a morning we were showing matrix stone and that stone matrix all sucked out so you don't have fear of doing rirs for a small stone where pcnl is really very useful and at the same time pcnl if it is feel that it is risky see now see how they are coming out now i will come out every time i am coming out because see if you if you, this is should be free otherwise this scope and uh, sheath gets damaged in fact uh, when sheath was not going i used a fresh sheath in this you can push see i push with the stone nothing will happen to scope now my luxury for me now the sheath is here at the infundibulum and he is continuously now you can do fragmentation mode also 
high energy and uh, uh, high energy you can use but i wanted to do powder only so that less number of fragments will be there at the end to serve so now i am doing aram say in the upper kelly can you show how high i am can you show how high i am in the cm yeah. and very high in the cm i am very high see there is a rib above the 11 the 12th rib, 12th rib. Yes. so no fear wherever you are see now it has become fragments and i will use the same fragmentation mode for the fragmentation of the stone everything will be sucked out not this many fragments don't try to suck out this many fragments the pop dusting you do what is pop dusting when you make fragments those fragments will come and touch and they will become the powder see this powder you suck it out see how you sucking out powder now see see can you observe that collapsing completely collapsing completely collapsing bas enough if you keep it for completely collapsing long time you will get the blood that is because of the capillaries negative pressure decompression now the stone of 1.5 cm lasing time will be less than half an hour and 8 minutes 8 minutes see if you not want to touch the mucosa it may cause burn see i caused burn here but in pcnl entire calyx is damaged torn here we are burning only superficial mucosa, mucosa. but in pcnl you will completely torn their calyx even though it comes from the tip of tip of the calyx the purposefully i am making fragments why i can utilize popcorn method with little increase frequency see now i am not doing anything just stay in the center attacking the pieces all the pieces i will remove there in there itself now suck it out powder suck it out powder water flash see how nicely it is sucked out what else you want uh, to say that if you can safely put uh, see see now now again start so number of uh, powder particles in the center of the calyx are very less that's why you are better utilizing your energy laser in this process i hope you understand what i am telling if your powder is there unnecessarily powder will be beating now again sir sir see what is wrong flash sir no pressure will raise see everything is sucked out now again i will go with now i will go with the lightly increased the frequency of popcorn and that makes at, at the moment i am in a fragmentation mode for large pieces fragmentation mode is better for small pieces very small pieces only popcorn popcorn now you increase the frequency to 15 in this only little frequency increase suck it out ram krishna flash and suck it out see i have the best assistant here best team urologist senior who is uh, uh, sucking out all the all the powder okay now see volume is reducing fast so i will go here keep on doing that don't flush he is not flushing now that rambushan is not flushing now and he is just keeping the stones uh, in the calyx now at this stage these are dynamics you don't flush you don't create unnecessarily turbulence and keep them everything in the center now suck it out i am lucky today that the sheath has gone if the sheath has not gone i might have not demonstrated this see see these fragments how they are coming out come back come back in it and how many times i have come back in this case 10 times that is very 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 less for a 1.5 to 1.5 into 1.5 cm straight i am there the easy case for ideal case because uh, can you put popcorn now popcorn 0.2 into 100 yeah this is the popcorn here temperature will raise no role of increase frequency are suggested but popcorn there is a role now suck 30 seconds you use it 30 seconds you suck it where will the bacteria go no where now again stop stop sucking stop uh, putting water also very less water yes yes very less water like this very drop by drop just drop by drop Just drop by drop. Just drop by drop. Don't try. Even I can suck out these fragments also. 
but to and fro movements in the uh, while flexible scope will increase. So I wanted to do little more time. Now water plush. See how the fragments are coming out. See if the axis sheet is more longer, I might have finished much faster. See now my scope is getting stuck in between the small pieces. Entry. Yes, this entry is difficult. Show this. It's the scope can get damaged if you are rough. So we have done 50 cases now. We have, uh, have the data. Only thing is that because of our experience, we are not, we have not caused any, even in this case, I must tell you, Eurotra was very, suck, suck, yes, see, suck, plus Ramkrishna. See, now we can take out the fiber Ramkrishna, telling that you keep it away, don't flush. I will do some more time and take out the fiber so that water will flow better and suction will happen better. I will do another uh, two minutes. Total time duration is how much? Scope time? 32 minutes operative time. 23 scope time, lazing time. 11 minutes lazing time. Very good. Flash, flash, like this, you flash. In this, what happens? You have to suck the scope. It is very difficult to suck this many fragments. You got the point. So, do you think Ramakrishna they can all be sucked out? Huh? Breather? Yes. Then I will take out the Maybe. laser fiber. This is the first time I am taking out laser fiber. And now you will put the sheet more inside a little bit by a, a other method like this. And now see. Now see the observe the beauty. They will come out in one minute. Everything. Either control this. Uh, uh, if you don't come out, it will take less time. You want to reinsert it, take order. See? See? See everything, how it's coming out? What is the problem if you take out all this? They can form strain say they can regrow. It takes only 10 minutes. So PCNR also will take half an hour. Any senior surgeon also, see how they are coming. Before I go, they are saying, oh, we are coming, please. See, slowly you come, slowly you come so that they won't get back again. Suck, suck, he's sucking, he's flushing. Show both. Um, Karthi. Yes. Now again, I am going inside all this. See, that said that uh, uh, these stones, you need not uh, lay anymore. See? See how they are coming out. Any questions? No. So, see how, how they are coming out. Complete safe. Only thing is that ureter should be protected. Ureter at the end, we will show. See now how they are sucking out. See, 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 entire thing will get emptied in, uh, in five minutes. How, how can we say that it is not useful? It is useful. It is useful provided smaller access sheet will come in the future. With one French, if they reduce entire push, push access sheet, see, I am at the tip of the calyx. What else you want? Now I will demonstrate at the end uh, how we can suck all the calyces if any dust is there. First, let me empty this calyx first. Like this, it will come out. Smooth movement outside and inside, it will come. See, this yes, go inside. Yeah, see, all of them are coming at a time outside. All of them. You are able to observe. You show here also, this also, not only that. How I am, I am passing inside the lumen. It's railroading. Just entry, flush, cut. See, entire calyx is empty. And at the end, zero, uh, uh, zero uh, stones. We do CT tomorrow. We can wait, 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 wait. Yes, flush. Yes. I agree. There are two, three points. One is the rotor. Second is the, second is the pressure. You keep it. But if you constantly suck, there is no problem. Yeah, I don't want to leave any piece, any piece inside. Not even eye uh, detectable piece also, we, we we need not keep inside. What do you say, Ramsha? Eye detectable piece also. That is the advantage of this. See, it is empty, flush, press, see. Eye detectable also, we will not keep. See, uh, there are five, seven are coming. Let's see, Pulsar asks how, how many such fragments will come out. Same like in PCNL. The, the the volume is the volume is the consider 
when they come out, not the diameter. See, see, can you see? The, can you see entire Kelly? Any damage? Nothing. Just few are there. That also I don't want to leave. Tomorrow, if the CT is done, uh, absolutely there should not be any stone. Now you go inside. You go inside. Now see the calyx, each calyx. I have not gone to any other calyx so far. Are you convinced everybody that uh, uh, there is no, this also I wanted to suck out. Any small like, uh, like TRP chips, even if you leave one chip also, it is not good. So that is uh, a next level of uh, RIRS is this, where, see, you can move like this, suck, 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 suck. Uh, yeah, see, see the where will the uh, where will the pressure will raise if this much suction is there? What do you say? And at the end, if you inject contrast, collapsed calyx will be seen. No intravasation, no extravasation. Okay, see, I'm too meticulous, so it's taking time. No problem. The live demonstration, and uh, see, all angles have seen completely empty. Suck it out once. <laughs> now I will. So the CM, now show the CM both this stone and this human show. This was a stone, big stone. And I don't know even in PCL such small fragments will be moved because they may go into other cases. Now what I will do, I will come back. Infantibulum is very, very safe. Very, very safe. See here, powder is there. This powder happens anywhere. Now this, for this, uh, see, I'm sucking out. You are showing this? Yeah, this, this, this is cleaned. Now this is the left side kidney, all see, all no powder at all, no powder at all. So long infundibulum, now I will come to middle calyx, middle calyx see, suck. Now whether my sheath will reach this or not, if it draws, see, it will push, see, push a little bit. That is the dangerous thing, what he is doing, he is experienced person, my technician, nobody can push that. Now flush, see, flush, yes. So that is the most dangerous thing. If you are going from one calyx to other calyx, you should flex how means you see here. Don't suck. Don't suck. Yeah. Now, now let them come out. Let them come out. I will show how to do inter uh, travel of the inter inter calycial uh, these thing. See now you go inside. You go inside. You you are in the up, you are in the upper calyx. See, you are in the upper calyx. This is the upper calyx. Now I will come back. You are in the upper calyx like this. Suck it out. All the powder and everything, sir. Yeah, this is the middle calyx. Middle calyx. See how it is sucking out. I will go inside. I will see the lumen. See. Then I will flex. Then I will go inside. During this, this time, push it. Push it. Push it. See how he is pushing. How I am going. See him. Now you show see him where I am. See. There. Now coming to back again. This is emptied. Now this is the middle calyx, pure middle calyx. Suck it out. Now see the lumen. See how it is sucking out. This is the inferior calyx. Oh, we will take out all this powder by nature. If by chance they don't come out, see how we suck. See, 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 um, see, um, see, see how I'm flexing. Now my flexible sheet, will it go into this calyx? Let us see. Push, push, push. See, it's pushing. And uh, scope has come here. What else you want? So everything is clear. All the calyces. Clot also you suck. Clot, clot also you suck. Clot also you suck. You can suck it out. There is no problem in sucking out the clot also if it is a little loose. Now this is the lowest calyx. Yeah. Now come yeah. out. Come out. That is the lowest calyx. Mm -hmm. This is the lowest calyx. Yes. Already we have seen that. Now come back slowly. Come back slowly, keep on sucking. Come back slowly like this and watch the PUJ, what happens? Now we, we were a little scared. Now see the PUJ, any problem? No. Any, any small, see this powder also we can suck it out. Entire kidney is cleaned. Like I say, this is like mopping. This is like mopping. Whereas what we do RIRS is sweeping. Sweeping and mopping, there will be difference. Dust will be there inside. Now, ultras ready. See the PUJ. Uh, have you observed PUJ, Karthik? Yes, sir. So, what will happen to PUJ? Nothing. See, entire PUJ we are showing like infundibulum. 
entire PUJ and ureter. Capillaries are seen. Can you see the capillaries? Yes, sir. Uh, only erythema is there because of the stent, everything. When you are pushing, always Dr. Kaushiksha says, push now, push, yeah, push, push. Like this, you push. Don't push blindly. In fact, initial part, we pushed because it was not going. Now I will indicate contrast. You watch, uh, nothing will be there. Now, see him. Thick contrast you should give. See him. See him. See him. See him. Can you see? All upper calyx, everything. Now, See how we can suck it out in the CM. It is extra radiation. I am sorry for academic purpose. I am extremely sorry for that. For the staff also, suck it out. See how, see how it is sucking in seconds. And can you see seconds? See how yes, that, 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 that's all. Now, don't clutch down Krishna more. Suck it out. Suck it out. See, upper calyx also suck out. Suck out. See how it's a large calyx, so it will take time to suck out. Sir. Don't flush down, let yeah. him suck out. Lightly flush, flush, tap, flush. Okay. Okay, flush a little bit, so you will suck it out. See him. Okay, pressure. now gone. Now this middle calyx, gone. Then then uh, this uh, upper calyx part is over, and then this middle calyx, suck it out. This is also gone. Now, only upper calyx, some amount is there, no? no See him. Yeah, that is also over. So com completely over. Is it necessary to put a stent? Not necessary. I will, because it's post-stented, we can put the guide wire and come out. Now I will, co I will come with guide wire along with the sheet. Give me the guide wire. Because it is post-stented, I don't have fear. I don't have fear. So that one fragment also is not there. Why this guide wire? Only to keep the lumen open. So you pass the guide wire, Observe carefully what happened to the ureter. Some graze is acceptable. See him? See him? Right. See the guide wire is there. Now you also come out along with me, sheet. Somebody push the guide wire. Now, now this is the sub. Slowly. See, water flush, please. Water flush. Okay, guide wire, please. See, 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 see. Nothing is there. Capillaries is seen. Capillaries is seen. Erythema will be expected in post-tented cases. Nicely ureter is seen. No graze, nothing. I have come out. See him? See the dead wire is there. I will keep only, take it out, take it out. I am taking it out. And only guide wire is left behind. And not even ureter catheter. Why I feel? It's only the spasm of the ureter has to be left open. So only one problem I had here, the access sheet was not going easily in post entered case also. In that case, stop the procedure and do PCNL. Because one more time you should not. So you should be well versed with the PCNL as well RIRS. So to conclude, now I will put the Foley's catheter, and uh, uh, and then uh, we will uh, see. This is the powder completely which has come. Can you uh, can you observe that in front of uh, everything? This is the powder. You see, it's visible clearly. Yes, yes. See the powder and some fragments on this side. Can you see? This is a true powder. This is the two fragments. That's all. Uh, to to conclude, uh, don't remove the guide wire. Uh, to conclude, uh, RIRS with uh, flexible sheath, whether it is navigable or not doubtful. Navigable means sometimes uh, the control is outside the sheath previously without 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 uh, scope. But still, this is also navigable. Why? When scope is there, you are navigating it. So fans only, flexible, accessible, navigable sheath. That means the size is big. The day size comes down. Now this scope is already 7.3. That's why we could so nicely fragments are coming out. The day six French scope comes. The day nine French access sheet comes. Luminal difference is same. Fragments will come out. The entire surgery is same. Only PUJ is respected. And primary fans also is possible. Now we are doing only after stenting. That is a disadvantage. Now I will not put stent. No, that means prior stenting will avoid the stenting afterwards because no sepsis, no erotic damage. One dead wire evening I will see you and discharge. At the end, complications can occur. This surgery should not be done immediately, first time by junior. Do 50 cases of normal small access sheet. We have done more than 10,000 cases for last 15 or 12 years and then attempting slowly, cautiously. Today, I was really afraid that in live, I am not able to pass sheet. No problem. 
normal sheet you pass do powder leave it up to this we are doing that only nothing will happen but that time powder should be very 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 small what is that small we cannot know because they will go here and there what is that small means 200 micron fiber sometimes it is not possible if this small stone you can nicely powder if it is just above 1 cm do you think that fragments will uh, will not be there they will be there definitely they will not be there those fragments this section is very 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 useful so thank you for the opportunity once again don't try to uh, attempt these cases just because we are showing we are focusing on the principles not under new techniques but not the uh, surgery per se this is the principle of surgery the ureter is not dilated don't put sheet meanwhile keep on seeing the seeing the uh, no. this thing here he, this boy who is intelligent has applied pressure on the penis and decreased the size of the penis by pushing it like in trp what you do and i apply a little bit little bit uh, at this at the scope controlly then it went up to the mouth of the infundibulum of the upper calyx thank you